way I'm trying to to celebrate what he did for me. You know, he was he had to play the role of a father and a mother. Uh, he had to run the house by himself. Uh, the family was him and I. You know, that was it. So through the film, I talk about that. You know, uh, uh, on a way, the mother character represents him in many ways in my life and. Uh, so it was nice to share the moment of the screening with him. He was in Sundance with me and he was here. And uh, I guess also now he knows how much this matters. You know, and, uh, and he's really proud, I hope. Can you talk about how you started to come up with this story? I understand it stems from your own feelings of loss mm -hmm. and the responsibility well, <coughs> you felt as a child. It, as a child, I wanted to be an adult. I remember I started to work when I was six, and uh, but it, it was all about being close to him, you know, to belong to his world. So for me, it was much more interesting to go to the theater and see rehearsals and be around these crazy people and these fantasies they were creating. And school was boring, you know, when I had to be next to kids my age, I, I was like, well. This is just a process to get to to, to the fun part of it, uh, and uh, and I thought I was ready to be an adult, and that's where the idea came from, you know, because I have the feeling we're pushing kids to be adults before they should, you know, they have to deal with issues like death, like violence, like war, like you know, economical crisis or uh, divorce, things that I don't know. But I, if today as a father, I can say um, I want to be there to design the reality they live in, and I want them, I want them to be uh, kids as long as they want. But then you think the juxtaposition is the kids want to be adults as soon as possible? Yeah, yeah, but 